so we are on day 23. Oh, is that it? I think so. Yeah. Yesterday was 22, and I wasn't really sure what day it was. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, of the Queer SOS Vigil. And we were out here just kind of cutting up and having a good time tonight. It's a little chilly. Mm. A little chilly out here. Um, um, and, um, you know, we've been talking about lots of different things tonight. And one of the things um, that's coming up soon as this continues to escalate um, is uh, the fast on Election Day. A water-only fast will begin. And, um, the prep work for that and that entails um, and you know that's one of those things that whereas this is a sacrifice I think out here just living on the streets and dealing with the elements and everything um, a fast as well as a different kind of sacrifice um, definitely an escalation again obviously because now um, more serious health risks come into play um, but it's fascinating. On day 23, we have had, we've heard from several people who have, uh, you know, contacted Gillibrand's office, who have gotten very little from them, or Gillibrand's office will, will um, pin it on other people. They'll say, oh, the National Organization for Marriage says we can't do this, or, you know, oh, uh, people aren't ready for it, or all these excuses. They're just excuses. So it's nice. I mean, we're day 23. I'm, I'm curious to see how many excuses they'll have because we'll wait out all of their excuses. Um, and uh, just uh, eventually they're going to have to bend to the will of the people. People want their civil rights. It's that simple. Um, so this doesn't do it. Fast doesn't do it. And people start dying on their doorstep. I don't know. We'll just keep you know, corpses on the doorstep, I guess. Yeah. And then we'll do other things after that. Do you want to see anything? Mm-hmm. Thanks. We'll be waiting, and um, we have more patients, and I'm and I think she has people. She wants to go Hi, I'm Laura. Um, I just came by to visit these guys because they, um, they're just so impressive. Uh, their level of uh, dedication and commitment. Um, but when you really think about the issue, um, when you're talking about human rights, um, it's a really serious issue, and I think that um, the seriousness of it often gets forgotten and it gets politicized out of any kind of discussion what's really going on here. And, um, you know, I, I think the truth is that, you know, these are very intelligent people. These aren't, um, they're not doing something just because they're like crazy, radical, blah, 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 you know, politics, you know fanatics or something like that, it's, it's what they've decided to do here has been really well thought out, it's been done based on, um, you know, really looking at all the options and looking at how change has been made um, throughout history for anybody's civil rights, um, you know, and it, it, it change isn't made by asking, it's by demanding and by forcing the powers that be um, to recognize the people. And I think that's what's going to happen here. And I think it's about time. This is one of the message out to people that are watching to activate, to get active, to do something about it.